This is it, after more than two and a half years. Welcome to a special video. Let's go! Well, yeah, this video is not only special because I'm building an A340-600, but also as it's my first video doing a voiceover. Because it's necessary for the upcoming modification, I closed down the fuselage windows with some plastic screws. On the outside, I closed the windows with some putty, which I sanded about 24 hours later. And now let's get to the conversion kit made by Brass Models. Besides of the fuselage extension, it contains lots of other stuff. By the way, if you want to join my Discord server, check out the video description and click on the link. If you want to have updates about my models, feel free to follow my Instagram account. I got the name in the video description. And now let's get to the big modification. At first I taped the fuselage halves together. I also got a graphic showing me where to cut the fuselage. I marked them and applied some masking tape and electrical tape as well. It's a support for a better, straighter and cleaner cut. If you have any questions about the video or my equipment, feel free to write them in the comments. I cut the fuselage in four parts, of which I need two. Ah, and if you were wondering, that's the razor saw I used for the cut. Now let's close up the fuselage and for that glue all the stuff in. 20 grams are important because otherwise the plane would tilt backwards. And that's the result. <laughs> Quite long, right? <laughs> Anyways, now the real fun began. Partying and sanding. This took me so long. I had so many mental breakdowns on that. Unbelievable. The fit was terrible. I like, really terrible. I mean, I, I was happy that it even looked like a plane. <laughs> and just a fun fact, I began sanding in July 2020 and finished it in January 2022. So if you're planning to build that kit, I want you.
Besides of that new cool background music you're hearing, I also primed the plane. Primer reveals gaps as well as other imperfections. As you can see there were still many many gaps which I had to putty and after that sand again. And by the way, that took me many months, but don't worry, I definitely won't show everything because the video would take an hour or even longer. So don't worry. <laughs> But now enough of sanding, I think you've seen enough. Let's get to something more interesting, the landing gear. The A34600 has a special center gear included in the kit. First I spread a metallic base before I continued with light gray. Alright, the landing gear is done, let's continue with the wings. The gear bays are painted grey. I attached the winglets, then it was time to glue the wings onto the fuselage. At this point I was already shocked from the fit of the fuselage, but this, holy moly, that fit and that gaps, they were shocking. But guess who did it anyways? Yeah, stupid me. Yeah, here's the result, I worked weeks on that. And guess what, it didn't end there. The fun continued by gluing the stabilizers on. When the plane seemed well sanded, I got onto the antennas. I used some antennas made by Brass Models and another one from a Revell A321 Neo kit. I carefully glued them onto the plane. By the way, I also left one hole empty, later you will see why I did that. And after the primer, the A340 looked quite nice. <laughs> that was the first time I was really satisfied with the result.
And yeah, that's it so far. That was part 1 of the video series. But don't worry, the video series of course will be continued pretty soon. So feel free to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss that. Thank you very much for watching. Stay well, have a nice Christmas time and see you at the next video. Bye!